Welcome back to Sir, You Are Being Hunted. This is going to be a very swift intro and potentially a very monumental episode. The timer is set, the robots are ready. There's one MacGuffin piece and everything to play for. It is Sir, You Are Being Hunted. And now we wait for the timer to go off. <laughs> okay, okay. There's the buzzer. I that didn't pull any of the robots. Oh god. Got enough oh no, not even nearly enough shotgun ammo. That previous fight was entirely unnecessary, and has now made things much tenser than they ever needed to be. Well done, Will. Well done, you wasteful... ...fool. Oh, this is going very bad. Come on, come on, come on! One more robot, there's one more. Where did he go? All right, whatever. Oh, oh my God, inventory Tetris on the fly is the worst. Okay, we're good. We now have every single MacGuffin piece. Let's get the bloody hell off this island. Quick piece of victory meat, nom nom. And let's cheese it. I must have thought I was somewhere else and gone to chase. Whatever. Oh, victory humbugs. I'm not a man to question. So yes, let's make a break for the boat and then begins the final run. Um, I don't know if I have anything else really to, to add to the, the world of video games at the moment discuss my points. I think I've answered most of the best questions from the mailbag. Yeah, I think we're I think we're ready to, to wrap up this series. We're so close. I can, I can taste it, ladies and gentlemen. And no amount of krakens or leggy buggers or cavalry gentlemen jerks. None of them will stop us. Going to get back home to proper England with proper tea. Oh, it actually reminds me, have some tea. Mm. We're going to do this. Oh, I hadn't noticed the bales before. Those mushrooms look awfully tempting, but I promise no psychotropics. So, yes. I guess one thing that I think would be very interesting interesting if you are interested in the world of video games, how to make them and how to sell them, is uh, looking at No Man's Sky. I, not with any particular opinion per se, or with any sort of um, expectation, but just give it a watch. Give it a watch. Give it a look. There's a lot of interesting opinions around No Man's Sky and the concept of indie games in the AAA space and how people have approached it and how they've looked at it. And I think that that's very interesting. And I think that that's very interesting because I think we'll see more and more small teams making big games. 
you know, the, the price tag for a title is not necessarily earned by the number of human beings who created it, but by the by the quality and the, the context. A game is worth as much as it is, as it is really. Oh, yeah, I know, great analytical opinion there by Will. Next up, Sky is Blue. Uh, theoretically, how does it taste? But what I mean is that it's it's going to be interesting because we're going to see this more and more. Small teams are going to make games that are launched in the AAA space and it's the one to watch in my teeny tiny humble opinion. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be anything else that I can talk about. We're going to go for the centre island and we're going to finish this once and for all. If you've had questions that I haven't answered or if there's anything that you'd like my help slash opinion slash just want to type all caps at please hit me up on on those twitters that the children are all using or drop some comments on youtube i mean the, the extra credits youtube comments are some of the most wonderful and i it's been an absolute honor and a privilege to be on this channel so i'm going to get my head in the game now i'm going to ditch these MacGuffin pieces we're going to do this I don't know if necessarily a mad dash is the right manoeuvre, but it's nice and dark, so we should. Oh, even leg lords over there. Don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a dog howling in the moon. Misty Bullfinch. You'll never leave. Take a little quick picture of that. Sorry. Piss. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go the long way around. Of course I'm out of shotgun rounds. Of course. Do you remember that time where I was all like, Oh, I've got so much ammo. Isn't it so good? Oh, I'm so clever and cool and wonderful. I remember those times. As if they were only yesterday. Now I have very little ammo. And I am neither cool nor clever. And I can't guarantee that uh, engaging in in robo-side would net me a profit of munitions. So... So we shall see. I reckon we hit the, the southern west... Thank you, Kraken. We hit the southern west side of the island. We're heading by the hedgerows where I have danced with death more often than I care to imagine. With the robo-grim reaper, or uh, Jeff as he's known to his friends. I should have gone by my uh, my LARP handle for this. That would have been splendid. We could have done, uh, Sir, you're being hunted with me, Dr. Professor Jeff Science, which is a totally original character I came up with and not an amalgamation of Dr. Jeff and Professor Elemental. Uh, Dr. Jeff is a, as a T-centric cyberpunk... Peasants! Mm! Is a T-punk enthusiast. Ooh, T-punk, that's a great term. I'm going to write that down. Okay, two Robo Lords, one Strider, but they're heading off in the wrong direction. Oh, there's one nearby, but this fog should allow us to get the drop on them. There's a few to my left. Right, we're doing it, we're just going for a slam dunk. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm bringing the device up to speed now. I hope you won't consider this impertinent, sir, but I'm amazed you survived. So am I, Frederick. Hang on. So am I. We'll have you out of there in three, two, one. <laughs> wow. Oh god. They're coming. <gasps> Professor Elemental! They're coming! Oh, that's awesome! Damn! They're shooting! Stay down! Stray round great wonderful beats at the down. end. Don't dare break down! Don't be scared! Oh. Break down. 
Escape, evade, make a break to raise well, ground. Well, I guess all that's left is to say thank you so much to all of you for watching. My heart's going a million miles an hour right now. Um, a huge thank you to the Extra Credits crew for letting me play this. A massive thanks to Jim and James for making this incredible game. Shout out, obviously, to Rock Paper Shotgun. Um, yeah, this has been positively wonderful and I've had the best time. So thank you all. As I said, please feel to feel free to annoy me via social medias if there are questions I have not answered or things I have not done. And yeah, a final shout out, obviously, to the incredible Professor Elemental. Play us out. For your life. We've got to keep running. They've got guns. They're coming. The robots are hunting. Go! You're, You're being hunted. hunted. Go! You're being hunted. Go! You're being hunted. Run for your life. Oh Christ. It's time for a breather. We need to seek shelter. It's not over either. We hide here or leave later. I don't feel safe either. We need to find out more before they all find us. Robotic poachers, tough robots in tweed. Not supposed to show emotion, but obviously pleased. It seems here that humans are usually hunted with mechanical hounds. If I can just find my compass, we might find something to help get us home. Just stay low and never leave here alone. This world smells of chrome, polish, hatred and brass. No, if I'm honest, I hate it. Let's grasp the moment. Before they come for us, I just heard a distant blunderbuss. Oh, and I should probably mention there's a deadline to get us home to our own dimension. We've got to keep running. They've got guns. They're coming. The robots are hunting. God, you're being hunted. Go. You're being hunted. Go. You're being hunted. Run for your life. We've got to keep running. They've got guns.